Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lewis, and welcome back to Stone A Problems. Hope everyone's having, hope everyone's having a great day. Um, so on today's episode, I kind of wanted to continue to elaborate a little bit further on my passions and how I find them useful, and hopefully it draw it gives it provides you with some more sort of inspiration to partake in these activities of activities or event, endeavors or whatever other superlative you want to throw in there. And that to me is reading, um, literature, you know, partaking in literature. I don't give a fuck what the fuck it is, you know, I've read everything. Um, I feel like it's unfortunate that it's an activity that most people don't partake in nowadays, particularly people of my age and their 20s and stuff and early 30s or whatever. Um, and it's, and, and the re, and, and the ramifications of that, I apologize, I don't know why I got so stuck. And the ramifications of that is appalling, and and, and it shows every day in all manners of society of how people are so fucking stupid nowadays, for the most part. It's unfortunate to say, what the fuck is up with this shit? It's unfortunate to fucking say, but it's the truth. And... You know, um, I usually come off as a fuckboy to people because, you know, I care about my eyebrows and stuff and I hate the gym and I think I'm a pretty, well, I don't think I know that I'm a handsome motherfucker, but I do love to read, you know, and that's one of the things that I'm forever grateful to my mother for, uh, obviously not the only thing, but definitely one of the big things is that she put me in the library at at a very young age. And I still remember to this day when she told me, like, hey, look, I don't want just some handsome son. I want a smart one. You know, I don't want an idiot. You know, and that that really has resonated with me to this very day. As right now, as we are speaking, or as I am speaking, and you are listening, obviously. so. Uh, And that's definitely something I'm going to attempt to instill into my children if that, you know, ever arises or whatever. Because it, it's 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 like you can't even put it into words of how important it is in terms of personal development. You know, people go to the gym and they work out on their biceps and their chest and their legs and their whatever other fucking body part. But they forget to work on this, you know, in their mind. And that's extremely important. And that's why you constantly see people that when they speak or when they give their opinions or ideas on something, you they, they sound like they never really passed 10th grade, like mentally or something, like they just got stuck there. You know, a lot of people nowadays just regurgitate whatever the fuck they find on social media outlets and stuff like that. So it's not really any genuine, organic ideas. Someone thought it for them, they thought it was cool, and now they make it as their own. Like, of course, I do that. But all I'm doing is piggybacking off the greats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still being able to develop and create my own philosophy from the people that came before me. You know, that's why I read people like Friedrich Nietzsche and Fyodor Dostoevsky and fucking Carl Jung and Immanuel Kant. And you know, there's just a fucking variety of people that you can fucking draw inspiration from. Because at the end of the day, we are historical creatures. You know, you can talk shit all you want, and, you know, whatever, but... We are historical creatures. We don't come into this world blank, you know, with a a clean slate, if you will. No. It is extremely important to learn from those before you, you know, and not not to have this arrogant mentality that you can figure out on your own. Like, you're not going to be able to, you know. And reading, to me, is much more important than, you know, than, than the gym. How many people go to the gym and they're fucking morons? Superficial idiots. You know how many women I've gone on dates with and they hit the gym and they're fucking gorgeous, but then as soon as they open their mouth, they're, uh, all I want to do is leave. Because they're idiots. And I'm really much, I'm a saposexual, like, of course, I have to be physically attracted to the woman to even begin any sort of fucking communication endeavor or whatever the case may be. But if you're a moron and you have no personality, I'm not. It's just not gonna go far. You know, you know, it's just, it's just not the case. Like I don't care. You know, like stupidity to me is just fucking annoying at this point because it's an oversaturated personality trait for the most part for most people. Stupid, ignorant as fuck, and they're not only ignorant. 
but they believe they're intelligent. Like, you know, it's like, like I've met a lot of those people. I'm sure you guys have met those people that are so stupid that they actually think they know what they're talking about. They know that they, they, that they, they have this, they, they, this faith that they know what the fuck they're talking about, but they just sound like morons. And that, that's probably the most dangerous thing in the fucking world. Those are some hard-headed motherfuckers. So, you know, and and reading like, is something I really do want to instill in my children so they could develop their own personality, you know, and, and really grow as an individual. Like, that's what's helped me out a lot as a person. You know, so some people come off as a thug or to some other people come off as a footboy, some other Miami kid that gives too much, that cares too much about their eyebrows. Okay, but no. Or cares too much about the gym or something like that. But like, no, like I'm, I'm much more than that, you know. Obviously, perception is everything and, you know, what people perceive of you is extremely important because you basically wear a thousand faces. You know, everybody has a different perception or a different... I, a different perception or a different idea of who you are as an individual. But reading really does help you, and it helps you grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love history. I love philosophy. I, that's basically what I've been reading for the past few fucking years because I'm really trying to develop as a person, and I'm trying to stand on the shoulders of the giants and stand on the shoulders of the people who came before me and draw inspiration from them. You know, and that's basically what I've been doing. And I've been growing my own personal philosophy. I have my own personal philosophy. And that's something I definitely want to speak about at some point later on. Um, I'm a little bit trepidatious because it's going to definitely get some pushback. Because, you know, um, I, I don't follow the norms, I guess you can say. But, you know, I read people, like right now I'm reading, I have it always with me. The Brothers Kramazov, I spoke about it in the first episode. I am almost done. I'm definitely going to read it again because it's been such a, a mindfuck. And it really is unfortunate that a lot of people don't partake in it. And the people that do read, uh, like a lot of them read these fucking corny ass self-improvement books on how to get over the prison that broke your heart and you're like the best in the world. Like don't get me wrong, it's cool, but don't tell me you're a fucking reader if that's all you fucking read. That's some corny ass shit. That's not making you think. That's not making you really try to wrap your hand around the message that is being brought towards you throughout the word, like in the words of the literature that you're reading about. It's open, it's blank, it's like fucking blatant what the fuck they're telling you. There's no there's no mental uh, uh, strain, there's no strenuous mental activity that you have to partake in in order to understand what those corny ass books are trying to tell you. And it's unfortunate. You know, reading really is fucking important. Some people don't have the attention span. I don't care. I don't have the attention for it. That's fucking terrible. Read a, forget the audiobook or something. Like, I really do feel like, bo- like reading. It's absolutely fucking essential. Like, if you really want to grow a personality, if you really want to grow as an individual, read. You know? Read a fucking book. I didn't start off with fucking history. Uh, well, I liked it, but, but I fucking read science fiction. I read Ender's Game, a great series. I read Sir Du Freak. I read, I have Lord of the Rings. Like, obviously, I have that shit. I have Lord of the Rings tatted on my chest. So, yeah, that's how much I love <laughs> reading. But yeah, then Game of Thrones, uh, well, it's not called Game of Thrones, it's called A Song of Ice and Fire. Sorry. The show was a, f- the show did them wrong. The show did them dirty. Season 8 was dirty. Like, dirty in a bad way. Like, dirty like a whore. Dirty whore. Like, dirty uh, AIDS infested whore. How uh, they botched that fucking story. But I digress. It's just a quick video because, um, it, it's just like, I wish, I, I really try to get people on it. And I have had friends ask me, hey, Louis, how the fuck do you feel this out? How the fuck do you know this? And how the fuck do you know that? And how the fuck do you come up with these conclusions and these ideas? And where the fuck are you drawing inspiration from? I'm my like, motherfucker. I read. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are historical creatures. We, we don't come into this world and we don't grow into this world with a blank slate. Like a clean slate or whatever the fuck. No. We are born and we are implanted with these cultural lands, obviously. That's what well, we can have the conversation about, you know, um, what is it? 
uh, nature versus nurture or whatever, but it's true. And I feel like it is foolish. It's absolutely foolish. It's ludicrously foolish to think otherwise. To think that you can figure this out all on your own. You can't. You don't have enough time in the world to figure that out. And there's so many avenues. There's a limitless amount of avenues you could go into. And the vast majority, and the vast majority of them are fucking terrible. Terrible. You got fucking identity politics now, and you got all this crazy shit going on, which is another video I want to fucking talk about. I'm going to rip those motherfuckers to shreds. But it's, it, it, you know, and reading for me is something that I've really given credit to to not fall into these stupid movements, to, to see through it. You know what I'm saying? When Black Lives Matter came about in like what, like 2015, 2016? I fucking called that shit as a communist movement. Called it. I called it. People are telling me, oh, you're a racist. You're a racist. You don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. You're not going to fool me because I've read. I understand. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't stand people who fucking say they're communists or socialists or all this bullshit. Because I've read. I have a book about Stalin. Two books about fucking Stalin. Stalin and Rick, uh, Stalin the Red Court, uh, the Court of the Red Czar, sorry. Stalin the Court of the Red Czar and Young Stalin. I have read about fucking uh, Vladimir Lenin and Mao. Like, I know what it is. Like, I'm obviously, I've never been personally involved in a communist or dictatorship, like, dictatorship regime or whatever. But I've read enough to understand the signs. I've read enough to know what the fuck they're speaking and how they speak it, how these dictators speak. And how they try to draw you in as a desperate individual, especially during this tr these turbulent times. You know, people are just trying to find salvation. That's why you have waves of nationalism going coming about. You have identity politics, you have people down with the patriarchy, and down with the system, and it's crazy times, it's a very chaotic world indeed right now. But that's why I feel like it's even more important to read, and to understand where you came from. Understand where we came from, understand what we've done, understand the mistakes that we made. Not just have this delusional mindset and just focus on the highlights. No, focus on the fucking bleak spots. I've read books that made me fucking cry. You know what I'm saying? I have a book about Heinrich Himmler. Talking about the fucking final plan with Reinhard Heydrich and fucking the Gestapo and the fucking uh, Einstein's grouping when they fucking fell in into Eastern Europe and they started killing fucking Jews by the tens of thousands in like two or three days. And that shit's fucking crazy. But it's something that is absolutely essential for you to grow so you can know. So you don't fall into these stupid fucking tricks. The, the tricks don't change. The tactics don't change. Like it literally is always the fucking thing. You know why? Because the vast majority of people are going to fall for the same fucking shit. For all the things that people say, they're so fucking intelligent. No, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're falling for the same message that your ancestors fell for like 50, 60 years ago. Literally the same fucking thing. Not even the vernacular has changed. You know? Not even the demographic. Like, it's fucking appalling how people keep falling for it. And that's why I made it a mission to understand. And you can't do that by fucking scrolling through Instagram and, and looking at some bullshit influencers. No, pick up a fucking book. You know? And like I said, it doesn't have to be a history book. But for you to really... To start growing, to start growing ideas... You have to force your body to your force your mind to find it actually okay, so what the fuck is this person trying to figure out here? Or what is this person trying to elaborate on here and here? And like you know what I'm saying? Like it's like a workout. You know, you gotta put it through stress in order to grow. You know, it's not a muscle, but it's just, it follows the same pattern. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't expect people to pick up fucking brothers' karmas off or will to power. Will to power, if there's any book, if, if, if you only can read one book in your whole fucking life, read Will to Power from Friedrich Nietzsche. And I understand the guy gets a bad rap because of his fucking fuck-ass sister trying to acquiesce to the fucking Nazis and shit, but he, he's an interesting individual, but he's my fucking idol. 
You know, I consider myself a fucking active nihilist in his estimation. You know, and that guy has absolutely changed my fucking life, and I wouldn't be the freaking the, the the person I am today without him. And I would, and like, and a lot of my philosophy is drawn from him. You know, he's the to me he's the greatest philosopher to have ever lived. You know, like I'm gonna get a bust of that motherfucker when I have my own private library in my house, which I'm gonna donate when I die. Obviously, I'm not gonna be a dick. But, you know, I've tried to get my brother into it. It's just unfortunate, like, the, our, like, our younger generation, like, my brother, he's, like, 16, 17 years old. All they want to do is really jerk off and play fucking Fortnite and, 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 what the, that was just, I don't know. I don't play fucking video games. But it's unfortunate, man, that reading slowly and surely, slowly but surely, not even slowly but surely, it's just fucking gone at this point. People don't have the attention span to really, like, sit down for an hour, pick up a book, and scrub. They don't have it. That's why, bro, like, I'm, a lot of times, I'm fucking turned on as soon as a chick says she's weak. As soon as that. Like, I one time felt hard for a fucking chick because she read Game of Thrones. She read it. We had a whole fucking conversation about that shit for like two hours. I was like, damn. Like, I don't know what it is, but damn, Charlotte, you looking fine about the minute. <laughs> But it's true, man. It's such a, it, it's always such an absolute pleasure when you're not just physically stimulated. Like, any idiot can have a fat ass. Any idiot can have a great body. You know what I'm saying? Like, any fucking chick can walk around with a fat ass. Most of these girls only do is, all they do is work out ass anyways. They look just as ridiculous as the guys that only do upper body. But, you know, God forbid you say anything. But when they really open their mouth and they really start elaborating upon their own ideas and it really sounds genuine or it makes you look upon this particular subject from a completely different angle, from a completely different perspective, it's an absolute fucking pleasure. Like, like I don't even need to fuck you. I already had fun. Literally. Like, obviously, I would like to fuck. I want to fuck her even harder. But even if we don't, it's an absolute pleasure. Like, I remember one time, um, just... No, no names. Never, no names. But this woman, I'm not going to disclose any personal information such as that. I'm not any idiot. But yeah, um, this girl went to Chicago already. But we hanged out right before she left. And the girl was only 19. Smart as a motherfucker, bro. We were talking about reincarnation for like two hours, bro. Like an hour, an hour, two hours smoking fat blunts and shit. And then I was like, bro, you can throw this girl's not a Miami chick. Like, don't even get me started on Miami chicks. Miami chicks are, f- are something else, bro. But I just want to leave with this matches. I'm already about to hit 18 minutes, but it, it's just like, I'm, I, I, fuck. Like, I even want to make a foundation for literature, you know, like, uh, like for kids and shit, because, you know, when you start up as a child and you really start reading, bro, it takes you such a fucking long way, like an absolutely long way. I was a third grade arena at a sixth grade level. You know, and I'm like, I, that, that's literally who I was. I was in middle school. I was in Paul Bell. Every, I remember eighth grade. Everybody got one sheet of paper for all the books that they've been reading throughout the course of their little careers at middle school, right? Like one or two pages. I had six. I ran out of books to read at the library in school. And that didn't even account for the fact that I was also reading books from the public library at the same fucking time. And I'm not perfect, but shit, I'm amazingly different from most people and it's because of fucking reading like of course like i said at the previous episode jim really took me to the next step but fuck bro like i'm so glad and i'm forever grateful to my mom for instilling this in my head that i'm just not i'm not like everybody else you know i'm not like every other douchebag football i could have easily been another football a superficial little football you know all they care about is pussy and shit like that but no like i really do you know care more about that you know, and I wouldn't have the inspiration for doing this and trying to make a difference with people if it wasn't for reading. If it wasn't for me reading people such as Friedrich Nietzsche and delusional people like Plato. You know, people give a lot of credit to Plato, but he's a fucking idealist. An idiot, in my estimation, to be quite honest with you. I love Plato. He's one of the OGs. OGs. But he's a moron. Like, if you read The Republic, you'll be like, moron. Like, you really think this shit is actually going to get pulled off? It's like Karl Marx. It's like, it's like why I don't understand people who are communists. Do you know that once Karl Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto, Communist Manifesto of Friedrich Engels, 
Them motherfuckers retracted their statements afterward because they realized, hold on. This shit don't work. This shit don't make any fucking sense. It doesn't work. Dictatorship of the proletariat. Idiots. But I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda like transfer that episode like that, that that statement right there into another episode that I wanna fucking rip into the fucking Democratic Party and the people nowadays are in power and people don't wanna fucking see it. But I do. And I'm glad I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't fall for these tricks like most people do. And you know, it's because of fucking reading. To stand on the shoulders of your fucking giants. It's an absolutely essential step to grow. Like I said, we're historical creatures. You can't figure it out on your own. You can. Might as well learn from the best. Just do it. It's not going to do you any fucking disservice. I'm constantly adapting and growing as an individual and constantly adapting and growing my philosophy as well as I read, like, oh, what can I draw from here? What can I draw from there? And what, uh, and, and try to poke holes in my own philosophy because that's what makes you even more intelligent because you try to figure out holes, okay, what are the weaknesses? What are the, what are the, the things that can go wrong with my philosophy, which is a video that definitely I'm looking forward to having because it's going to be a doozy. It's going to piss people off. It's going to be a doozy. So I just really hope that I could get people to read. You know, just like I'm very passionate about fucking fitness and working out, I'm even more passionate about reading. Much more passionate. Like it's, it, it, it's essential. It's important, you know, to grow. You're not going to grow fucking scrolling through Instagram. It's just how it is. If anything, you're going to degenerate into something worse. You're going to be a zombie, a sheep, like everybody else nowadays. Because, you know, stupid is the norm. And stupid is the way you get bitches. And stupid is the way you get likes and people to subscribe to your only fans. So I'm going to leave you all with that. Uh, please, pick up a fucking book from your public library. Or buy a book. You know, it's not self-improvement books. Those are stupid, in my opinion. Those are pretty fucking stupid what do you need you're gonna buy a book for self-affirmation <laughs> ludicrous but whatever teach their own you know everybody tickles their pickle in their own unique ways so leave y'all with that i hope everyone have a great night it is friday night and guess what i bought a board table so fun as well hold up i like to read but i like to get wretched so <laughs> everyone be safe get home safe and if you go get lit as fuck, sacrifice. Pay the money for the Uber. Get home. I want y'all to keep listening. So, I've been forgetting to say this in the previous two episodes. Please like and subscribe. I am obviously a newcomer. I just started this shit this week. So, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that other shit is definitely going to help me out. And I would really appreciate it. Um, so, love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, peace.